Hello students, a very good evening to all of you. Welcome to online Tayari. This is our session on daily current affairs. Okay, let us begin with our first question for today. In which country has ASI discovered a 9th century sandstone Shiva Linga recently? It is option C, Vietnam. So, what is ASI? It's Archaeological Survey of India. So, ASI has discovered the 9th century common era monolithic Shivalinga sandstone during the ongoing conservation project, uh, project at My Sun in Vietnam. Okay. So, this My Sun is a group of a partially ruined and abandoned Hindu temples in the province of Quang Nam in central Vietnam and a Shivalinga it represents, you know, everybody knows this, I think it represents the Hindu deity Shiva. Okay. Let's move to the second question. Who is the flag officer commanding in chief of the Eastern Naval Command? You have uh, four options. The right option is option B, Atul Kumar Jain. Okay. So, so the Vice Admiral Atul Kumar Jain is the flag officer commanding in chief of the eastern naval command so why is this context why are we studying this it is because a two megawatt solar photovoltaic plant has been commissioned at the ins uh, kalinga Vishakapatnam by vice admiral atul kumar jain okay that was on 28th may so the establishment of this two megawatt uh, solar photovoltaic plant it has been launched in keeping with the initiative of the government of India for the promotion of solar power. The commissioning of the plant has been done with the objective of achieving 100 gigawatt of solar power by 2022. So this is like a part of the national solar mission. So the 2 megawatt solar photovoltaic plant, it is the largest in the Eastern Naval Command, which is projected with a 25 years lifespan. The commissioning of the plant is another step by the Eastern Naval Command towards eco-friendly measures and environmental conservation. Okay, let's move to the third one. Which institute has recently found a rare scorpion fish? It is option D, Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute. Okay, so that will be some, the, they have found a rare scorpion fish in the Gulf of Manar from the Setukarai coast of Tamil Nadu. So the scientific name of this uh, band a tail uh, scorpion fish is uh, Scorpionesis uh, neglecta. So the fish has stinging venomous spines and the ability of changing color as well. The finding of this is crucial as it is the first time that the fish has been found live in Indian waters. So, the ability of the fish is to hide in the surrounding environment by changing its colors so that it will help in escaping from predators and hunting. Okay? Clear students, let's move the fourth one. Which organization is the nodal agency for implementing the scheme mechanism for marketing of MFP through MSP and development of a value chain of MFP? It is option A, Trifed. What's the full form? Do you all know it? Okay, let me move to the answer. So, Trifed, it is the nodal agency for implementing and uh, giving out the scheme, which is titled as Mechanism for Marketing of Minor Forest Produce. So, this will be done through MSP, that is uh, Minimum Support Price. And it is also for the development of value chain of MFP. Okay. So, the Ministry of Tribal Affairs, it has concluded, I mean, it has included uh, 23 minor forest produced items under the centrally sponsored scheme. So, the Ministry of Tribal Affairs has also set the fourth minimum uh, support price of 23 items. The increase in the coverage of items from 50 to 73 it has been announced amidst the changing or challenging circumstances present in the country due to the COVID-19 pandemic. 
to provide the much needed support to the tribal MSP gatherers. The increase of MSP covering the different items of minor forest produces ranges from 16% to 66% in cases of Galois and also this increase of 190% has been done. Okay students clear with it. Let me move to the fifth question. Who has been appointed as the director of prime minister's office? It is option B Meera Mohanty. So that will be um, Miss Meera Mohanty has been appointed as the director of the prime minister's office on lateral shift basis till 1 May that is till today on further orders. So she is currently serving as the director of cabinet secret um, and she is also an Indian administrative service officer. of the 2005 batch of himachal pradesh cadre okay students clear let's move to the sixth one who has been appointed as the trustee of the natural history museum of london so you have four options the right option is option b yadvinder malhi okay So the role is an unpaid advisory role, and it will be performed by Yadvinder Mali for four years until May twenty twenty four, and he is also the director of Oxford Central Center for Tropical Forest and the Oxford University Biodiversity Network. Okay, clear, students. Let's move to the seventh one. Who has been appointed as the new CMD of Power Finance Corporation? It is option D R S Dilhon. So R S Dilhon, that is uh, Ravinder Singh Dilhon, has been appointed as the Chief Managing Director of the State Run Power Finance Corporation. He will serve in this role until May twenty twenty three, and he will take over the role from first June after the retirement of Rajiv Sharma in May. Also, note students. Power Finance Corporation is an Indian financial company which provides finance to the power sector. It was founded in the year 1986 with its headquarters in New Delhi. Clear students, let's move to the eighth one. Which private space agency has launched the first private rocket carrying astronauts? I think you all know this. So uh, it is option C. SpaceX. Okay, so the private agency or uh, space agency that is SpaceX, it launched the first private rocket, which carried two NASA astronauts on thirtieth May twenty twenty. That is uh, two days before, and it was to space in the Crew Dragon capsule successfully. The astronauts in the Crew Dragon capsule safely reached the International Space Station after the capsule docked successfully on thirty first May. So astronaut Doug Hurley was the commander of Crew Dragon Demo 2 mission and Robert Behnken was the fellow astronaut. Okay students clear with it? Let's move to the ninth one. Which state government has launched the Rajgarh Setu app? It is option A Madhya Pradesh. So this was done or this was launched on 28th May to provide assistance to the migrant workers in the form of employment. So under the scheme a complete uh, survey of the population of state will be conducted and work will be provided to migrants who have returned The state of Madhya Pradesh will also launch the uh, Swamitva scheme launched by Prime Minister of India that is Shri Narendra Modi on Panchayati Raj day Okay students let's move to the 10th and the final question for the day Which ministry will conduct my life my yoga contest It is option A Ministry of Ayush So the Ministry of Ayush will be conducting the video blogging contest uh, in collaboration with the ICCR what is ICCR it's Indian Council of Cultural uh, Relations So the contest of uh, the contest was launched on 31st May that is yesterday on the social medias handles of the ministry of ayush and it is open to participants from around the world the emphasis of the program is on the positive impacts of yoga on the lives of individuals the day has been launched as one 
of the activities in the 6th International Day of Yoga on 21st June 2020. Okay, students. So, these are the questions uh, for today, students. So, these are the 10 MCQs for today. Tomorrow, I will be coming up with another set of MCQs for you. Until then, stay safe, stay tuned to Online Tayari. This is Meghna signing off. Bye.